Question five is all about number machines. We start with four, and then we add three, out comes seven. And then from seven, we're multiplying by two, so we're following the arrow this way, out comes 14. And that's just the example. So now we move on to the one we've actually got to work out. It says here is another number machine. Write in the four missing numbers. Now we don't know what the mystery number is in this box here, and we don't know this one. But what we do know is the number in this box is 42. So it's actually going to make more sense to start here. Okay, now from this 42, we can follow this arrow off to the right, and it says add 3. So 42 add 3 is 45. So this box must be 45. Then we can follow this arrow down that says times 2. So 45 times 2 is 90. So these two boxes are relatively straightforward to fill in. However, if we go back to the 42 and we try and go backwards, that means we're going the wrong way down the arrow. So because this arrow goes from the mystery box times 2 to the 42. But if we're going to go backwards to the mystery box, We've got to do the opposite of times 2 because we're going in the opposite direction. So the opposite of times 2 when I'm going this way is actually divided by 2. And now I've got to work that out. So 42 divided by 2 going in the opposite direction is 21. So this box has to be 21. Now again, I've got to go in the opposite direction to what the arrow actually is. So going this way is add 3 but I need to go backwards so when I do the opposite of add 3 to get back to the mystery box I've got to subtract 3 so 21 subtract 3 is 18 so the very first mystery box has to contain 18 and there you have it that's all the mystery boxes filled in